Welcome to the Magic of Math, where today we're going to write an equivalent variable expression where we talk about the variable term, the constant term, and commutative property to identify the correct solution. Here's our question today. We're going to consider this expression, 5m add 7. We're asked which of the following is equivalent to the expression, and we're given four answer choices. So here's where I would like you to pause the video, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. So again, we're looking for an equivalent expression from these four answer choices to 5m add 7. So first I want to review with you that this is what we call a variable expression because there's an unknown here. It's this letter m is a variable. So when we write this, we have two terms. We have 5m a variable term, and add 7, which is a constant term, meaning it doesn't ever change. It's always 7. 5m is variable. Depending on the value of m, the value of the expression 5m changes. When we talk about this variable expression, when we have a variable term and a constant term, this is in simplest form. You cannot add any further because they are not what we call like terms. A variable term and a constant term cannot be added or subtracted. So when we look at these, we know that they added here 5 plus 7 to get 12. That's an illegal move in math, so we can eliminate answer choice A. 12m is not equivalent to 5m add 7. Over here, we can see that 7 plus 5m, possibly, and over here we see 7m plus 5. We can see our variable term is different. And then let's distribute in answer choice D to compare. 5 times m is 5m, then 5 times 7 is add 35. So we can see that answer choice D is not correct because they're adding 35 instead of adding 7. Now we have these two answer choices to pick from. We can see here they have 7m instead of 5m, so we can eliminate answer choice C. Now let's consider this B. It seems a little backwards. Well, addition is commutative. So if we use the commutative property, that means the order doesn't matter, and I can rewrite this to be 7 add 5m, which is equivalent to answer choice B, giving us our equivalent expression. And there you have it. That is how you read and combine like terms in an equivalent variable expression using the commutative property. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope you'll come back soon.